Crocodile and Hen of a Congo Folktale by John M. Lishso Pictures by Don Cushman Day after day, Hen went down by the river to look for food. One day, Crocodile saw Hen. I am going to eat you, Hen. Said Crocodile, he opened his mouth wide. My brother, don't eat me, said Hen. She had so little fear of him that she looked at him with one eye. She looked at him with her other eye. Then she looked away. Crocodile shut his mouth. Snap! He could not eat Hen. He was he just could not do it. He was so surprised that Hen he went on his way. But then Crocodile said, Hen crow me brother. How can how can how can I be her brother? How can she be my sister? I'm called Crocodile. She is called Hen. The next day, Hen went down by the river to look for food. Crocodile saw Hen. Now I am really going to eat you, Hen, said Crocodile. He opened his mouth wide. My brother, don't eat me. She has so little fear of him. Then she shut her, shut her eyes, but fluffed up her feathers. Crocodile shut his mouth. Snap! He could not eat Hen. He just could not do it. He was so, so surprised that Hen he went on his way. But then Crocodile said, How can I be Hen's brother? How can Hen be my sister? I am called Crocodile. She is called Hen. I am living water. She lives on land. The next day, Hen went down by the river to look for food. Crocodile saw Hen. Today, I am really going to eat you, Hen, said Crocodile. He opened his mouth wide. My brother, don't eat me, said Hen. She has so little fe fear of him. Then she put her hand down for water. She had she put her hand back to drink it. Crocodile shot his mouth, snap. That he could not eat Hen. He just could not do it. He was so surprised that Hen he went on his way. But then Crocodile said, How can I be Hen's brother? How can Hen be my sister? I am called Crocodile. She is called Hen. I am living water. She lives on land. I have fine scales all over me. She has silly feathers all over her. Crocodile went out for the water. He walked on land. As he walked, he said, I must ask the wise woman, old woman about this. Crocodile saw his friend, Leader. Leader said, Friend, why do you look so sad? Can I help? Crocodile said, No, you can't help me. I am sad about him. She Looks so fat, good to eat, but when I am about to eat her, she says, My brother, don't eat me. So I am one of my when to ask the wise old woman about this. Hmm, said the leader. Crocodile said, How can I be? How can I be his brother? How can I? Be him be my sister. I am called Crocodile. She is called Hen. I am living world. She lives on land. I have fine scales all over me. She has she has silly feather all over her. Hmm, said the leader. 
I said you can help me. Crocker said. Leader said, "What you scarce and feather oh, and all that matter?" Then as the wise old woman, oh, this my friend, you you just look silly. But said crocodile, "This must be." It. Leader said, "Hen lays eggs, ducks lay eggs, tall lay eggs." Leader lay eggs, and crocodile lay eggs. We are all alike in this. So is this way, we are brother and sister. I, crocodile, am brother to Hen. Hen is sister to me. As crocodile, did Hen just say so? Did I just say so? Said leader, "Oh, drat!" Crocodile said, "That is too bad. That bad good to eat hen." The next day, Crocodile went to look for hen. He wanted to talk, talk to her, as a brother should. Crocodile saw hen, and he said, "How?" Good to eat you. Oops, I mean meet you again, sister. It is always good to meet you, brother," said Han. And that is the way way is was every after with crocodile and Han.